All right. So, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so now we're going to start a little game that you may have heard of before. It's called Metroid Prime, Amazon Prime 3. Um, it's a little game that uh, stars a character named Samuels, and um, he can crawl, uh, he can shoot, and he can first person. He is the first person. Sam is, that is. Uh, and uh, I've played a couple of Metroid games on my stream. Uh, even more specifically, more recently, there's been a lot of Metroid on stream, but that's okay with me because the whole series is something that I kind of just missed out on uh, personally. Uh, I, just, I, I had Fusions as a kid, but never really played it. And then um, I never really played the games until more recently. Also, hang on, the sensor bar fell down from my little uh, perch that I have it on. Hopefully that'll work. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a full playthrough of Metroid Prime 3. I had played the entirety of Prime 2 on my stream last year, and Prime 1 was something that I streamed years ago. And so now we're going to complete the trilogy on Wii U. And um, <laughs> if throughout all of this, I think even when Metroid, when I first streamed Metroid Prime 1 was around the time Prime 4 was first announced. Well, guess what? We're completing the series like three years later and uh, still no word on when this game com is coming out. I'm guessing like next year at this point. I mean, they did have to restart development from scratch and there's a reason why games aren't typically announced early on in development. And it's because these things take a long time. Froze is assuming 2025. Honestly, though a meme probably in chat could be real, honestly. Games take a long time to make. And um, I, I'm assuming they really want to make sure they got this one right if they took all the time to start completely over. Like, it's not a matter of, oh, we'll transition this project that we have. No, they said, we're starting completely over from the very beginning. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised that we still haven't heard anything about it. Some people on the internet are like, come on, Nintendo, tell us more. But, um, I'm just glad that whatever they were making, they saw was not good, apparently, and they wanted to start over. Uh, I don't, I wonder if we'll ever learn about what the original build was like, though. That's what I'm curious about. So yes, I've um, I've streamed a couple of these games over the years. Um, I've also gotten more recently into the 2D Metroid games as well, and I really like those. Um, from this point on, however, I will not be referring to this genre as Metroidvania. No, we will be using the term that Nintendo likes to use, which is search action. Because that one doesn't get anyone copyright stricken, all right? Um, so, all right, I have the sensor bar down here, which is actually probably going to be more convenient. So I don't have to, like, do this. To, like, aim, I can uh, just have it on my lap, and I have the sensor bar underneath my desk. Um, so this was the first save file I ever did, and I got 12% through the game. This was my second save file, or, sorry, 12% through the first game. This is my second save file, 31% through the first game. And then this is the one that we've been streaming off of. We completed original Metroid at 68% completion. Um, weirdly enough, it doesn't say that I completed Metroid Prime 1, which is weird because I did. Uh, alright. Well, whatever, it thinks we're an impact crater rather than past the final boss. Uh, so we're going to now see what percent we get on Metroid Prime 3. Also, there's 
Prime 2 Echoes had multiplayer. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to ever get around to that because I don't know anyone who's ever played that locally. Bonus. Oh, wait, hang on. What's this? Okay. Bonus credit messages. I've never actually looked at this. What's HUD lag? Uh, brighten it. I mean, all the defaults are probably fine. Could do some sound speech. How much talking is there in the Metroid series? What do you mean speech? Actually, you know, I say that, but I hear this one is actually slightly more story focused. There's apparently like a bunch of extra characters around. Concept gallery. Uh, I didn't unlock the extra gallery out of that. Um, what is all this? Purchase? What do you mean purchase? What are these like coins? What? What is this currency? Huh? The Samus package. You're not authorized to buy that package. Uh. Well, maybe I can look at those later after we uh, do that. Apparently, there's online stuff for We Connect 24. Really? I guess for the multiplayer. Um. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. So. Yeah, we did this one. Wait, what? It doesn't have the save data for my Prime 2 anymore. That's weird. I guess because I completed the game, it's like, start again! Um... You know what? I wasn't really dying in Metroid Prime 2. I might come to regret this, but, um... Prime 2 was what a lot of people told me was a hard video game. And I've heard that this one is easier. So, we're going veteran on this difficulty, actually. I might live to regret that. We're gonna, we're gonna find that out. We're gonna find that out in time. But, um... Yeah, I, I, the, the Prime series especially, I felt like after you get more than a few E-Tanks, like, you don't find yourself dying that much. I think I died twice. In, uh, Prime 2? Autopilot navigation initiated. Destination coordinates. Uh, that. Planet Norion. Life support status. Cryogenic systems stable. Heart rate. 15 BPM. Blood pre- Life support. Anonymally. Detected. Neurological readings indicate- It's- <laughs> Oh shit, is this Dark Sam? Is this the corruption? Owner of Vine Sauce has done Metroid Prime 3 corruption corruptions. Oh! Dark Sam is back! Dark Sam 2. I didn't actually know Dark Sam was in this game. Oh shit, you have a face. Yeah, this one, so yeah, this one has like actual story to it. Um. Whoa, this is cool. I'm just in my ship here. Uh. Oh, this is this is already different. Press A to interact with objects. What is this? Is this trait codes? <laughs> X. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love this. I love this is the best. I uh, will do uh, that one. That one and a side of X. No. All right. Fuck. Fuck this system. Fuck this system. I'm just gonna hand it. Um. Oh. Space. Okay. Bye. What is this? Whoa. 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 
Enemies killed, zero. Shots fired, zero. Incorrect, that's about to be 500 by the end of this game. This game sucks. Shot fired once. There are voice act. There is voice acting in this. Use radio co uh, controls to enter your security code. Uh. Uh, uh, oh wait, it's down here. Fuck. Maybe I should put the sensor bar back, like, up at the monitor. I don't know, I like being able to relax it on my lap and not have to do, like, this the whole time, but... Uh... That one's me. Um... Uh... I don't have that one. Wait, oh, there it is. Uh, there's that one. There's that one. Who the fuck is Samus? Is this game a little quiet for anyone else? I had like everything set to 100. I wonder if I could have gotten even louder with it. Use the thruster controls. Who's thrusting? Yeah, it is kind of quiet. Here's what I'll do for you right now. Um, I'm going to give you a boost. Okay. Uh, if that's too loud, let me know. I can turn it back down a little bit. You know what? I will. I'll do a three decibel boost instead of a four decibel boost. Okay. That right there should be about the volume that I'm looking for. But this game is just kind of naturally quiet. I felt that way about the whole Prime series. Push the Wii U remote toward the screen to activate the thrusters. Oh god, there's motion controls in this. There's like more than just aiming motion controls in this. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should put the sensor bar back up here then. I'll do that next time. Uh, please don't go right into the Star Destroyer's engine, please. How's that on the volume, though? Is that good? GFS Olympus. This is better. Okay. If it's too loud or it sounds like too compressed or crunched, let me know. I can make some adjustments. I've got a lot of different things I can try to do to help boost it or lower it. Sam is you. So we're not even starting. Please calibrate your weapon by shooting these. Nope. <laughs> Fuck you, no! I'm out of here! Oh. So we're not even like starting on a real like planet. Boop. 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 Calibration complete. Who the fuck are you? Admiral Dane is waiting for you in the briefing room. I will upload the location to you now. So this is like the Federation though, actually, isn't it? I know like a little bit of stuff about about Metroid lore, but I don't really know a lot. The first game I like completely skipped out on reading like the majority of the scanning stuff. I did a decent amount of scanning in, in Metroid Prime 2, but I didn't go like completionist bonkers mode for it. You're on the Galactic Federation ship Olympus. Okay, so that's what the GF. Hot, big titty GF. Got it. Admiral Dane is waiting for you in the briefing room. Okay. Have you, have you by chance um, seen my friend? Um, I forget his name. It's not important to know his name, of course, because he's my friend. But uh, he 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 said to me once. He said, "Remember me." And now I don't remember him. Do you know who I'm talking about? High score, zero. Current score. What this place has. <laughs> oh, they're like shooting games. Oh, I see. Oh, this is a fun game. Yo, where do I get. How do I. How many do I have to do to get the heart piece? This game sucks! I hate this game! Garbage. Garbage. Fuck. 
All right, well, this is already pretty fucking different from the last two games. Sorry, I'm on I can't talk now. Having, like, NPCs at all really, like, changes the hell out of that. Because, I mean, there was, like, a little bit of Federation stuff in the last game. Uh, but, like, they were all, like, dead. <laughs> so, like, there was still no, like, interacting with people. I'm curious to see if I'll like this one as much as the other games. What's this? Oh, I'm not authorized to do that? These control terminals are often used in the training of new recruits. Okay. You're a man! Morphology. Male Fleet Trooper Federation Navy Specialist. Untrained for combat situations. So shoot him in the head. Fleet troopers are the backbone of the Navy, often ignored in favor of the gallant Federation Marines. Their work isn't always dangerous and is generally, or rarely rather, glamorous. Most are specialists and possess a great deal of knowledge. Creature scanned! Display images showing a status overview of one of the docked fighter squadrons. Okay. Definitely gotta scan everything, though. Heavy Federation crates are very durable and can withstand most impacts. Except my shots, of course. I was gonna say, it better be. <laughs> The hell? Warning. No! No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 no. No, I'm not real. I didn't mean to shoot you, I'm sorry. These walkway mechanisms are Something must be jamming the gears. Hold A and then release to fire. Wow. I can't believe that they actually have, like, automated systems designed for me to not shoot the NPCs. You can't stop me! You can't stop me! You don't got that, Dunthanaut! You don't got that, Dunthanaut! Wow. Great game already. Love this game. Schematic detailing the Griffin class forget. Uh, used as an escort vessel to larger ships. Okay. Emergency evacuation exists for an Olympic class ship. Are all marked on this ship? Are you? You're. A, what's that man doing? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on duty. I can't talk right now. Okay. Well, then I'll just shoot you. Oh god! Oh god! They got him on every floor. No! No! <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen a game do anything for, like, stopping you from harassing the NPCs, so, uh, good. Uh, maybe not never, but, uh, it's rare, so I appreciate it. Conveyor control terminals are used to route fighters through areas of the GFS Olympus. Projector is currently displaying all conveyor routes throughout the battleship. What is this? What is this? I can scan ramps. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. I'm still not gonna go like scan crazy. This won't be a 100 100 percent playthrough. But uh, I do like getting. I do like getting the additional lore and. This is so on a, like the Switch Pro, just one of those things that's always rumored. If there's ever a um, Prime Trilogy on Switch, I myself will at least replay Prime 1. Maybe on or off stream, I'm unsure right now, but uh, at that point, I would scan more stuff. So wait, what did this say? Access code required. Give me five minutes. Y'all can wait.
There's no zero. Fuck you! Hey, give me the key code. It's an honor to meet you. A pleasure to meet you, Samus. It's a pleasure to meet you. Now give me my fucking code. Blast shield lock engaged. It is vulnerable to even the invulnerable, rather, to even the heaviest of weapon fire. You'll learn that I still have no idea how to read during this playthrough. If you were hoping that by the end of the playthroughs, I would like learn how to read. <laughs> no! Informational terminal online. Access code may be obtained by interacting with this station. Okay. Login. Samus Aaron. Access code. One three five seven six. One three five seven six. You say. One three. Ah. One three five seven six. Ah. Oh, thanks, door. Try not to move during the procedure. We need a stable I understand the procedure. Oh, is that a space alien? This room doesn't have a turret in it, right? Oh, okay. You'll need to pull that lever to work you to enter the containment area. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's just tanking it. He's just like, just another day and being here with Samus. This. Press A to interact with objects. Oh, God. Okay. I wasn't actually expecting, um, like, full emotion controls like this. I really thought it was just the aiming stuff. Like the other two primes. Oh. DNA verified. Registration number 13576. Identified as bounty hunter Samus Aaron. Preparing biohazard scan. I've never played a biohazard game. Used to detect any hazardous substance within a subject body. Oh, I mean, I do have like the X parasite in me, right? Or no, this is bef this is all of this is like before fusions, though. I think it's between super and fusion, right? This terminal registers each individual who passes through the security checkpoint. Okay. Or maybe it's like its own like separate timeline. I don't know. The data stored in this terminal is encrypted and impossible to identify. Used to alert emergency personnel. Uh, manually activated through... Okay. Hello? Oh my god, my eyes. Status. Clear. I've got no corruption in me. Thank you. Um, I gotta do this again. Ah, right there. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, with the sensor bar where it is, I might actually have to move it up here so I can like do motions and shit again next time. Data file. 88001 Olympus class battleship data moved to logbook for review The Olympus class battleship is the first Federation capital ship designed to use an onboard Aurora unit They are flagships of the fleets they serve in Usually commanded by an officer of flag rank battleships of this class have smaller crews than most ships of a similar size due to the presence of the Aurora unit the space saved in crew support is used for more battle systems. The enormous vessels are powered by fuel gel, making this scarce commodity of extreme value to the Federation military. The absolute unit of that Aurora Borealis. Record of all previous security scans is stored. There. 
Yo, let me scan that. Officer? Galactic Federation door. No, not the door. You scan the man's... Morphology Federation Marine. Standard... 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 <laughs> girlfriend military personnel. Not Galactic Federation, it's girlfriend. Trained for combat situations. Okay, he's he's ready. That gave me... That gave me red money that I can use to buy more more things. Hello? Are you real? Oh, I can't get too close to it. Terminal prov- This terminal provide- I think I need to like get a drink? I'm dying right now and I don't know why. Drink that spicy dew. Spicy melon dew. All right, let's try this again. One more time. Terminal provides a means to communicate with users on the GFS Olympic network. There we go. That was like the right way to like say that. Also, wait a minute. Huh? Where is this part of the room? Why can't I see that? Garbage. Garbage. Makes no sense. What? What are you? What are you doing? Morphology fleet mechanic. One of many mechanics who maintains and repairs equipment. I'm sorry, but this requires my full attention. That sucks. I, I like how it's like, talk to people, and then I talk to them and they're like, fuck you. Console operates a nearby security system. A unique passcode is required to gain access. Huh? Aren't you Samus Aaron? No. It's an honor to meet you. No! No, I'm not! I told you I'm Samuel! Terminal has been locked. Only authorized personnel can access this terminal. Um, is that me? D did I just access it? This station controls nearby blast doors, but can only be used during an emergency. I'm really glad that in the Metroid universe, all doors are activated with a little bit of, uh... That. Hand scanner terminal is online and ready to receive input. Lift system is inactive, unable to use elevator in its current state. Okay. So, um, what do I do? The lift is inactive. Yeah, how are you activated? Oh, are you the activator? Oh, it's a hand terminal. I gotta, gotta, gotta put my hand on her. Fuck that. So yeah, this is already starting way differently than any other Metroid game. Uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I do like the iso isolation aspect of Metroid. I, and this is coming from someone who really enjoys games that tell, like, super in-depth stories as well. Like, I like RPGs. Um, but I think Metroid itself has, has excelled as a game where it's just you. Who the fuck is that? Is that Adam? Female fleet trooper. Oh, no. That's not it. Federation Navy specialist. Untrained for combat situations. I, um... I watched a Matt McMuscles video uh, today about, uh... Other M. And, um... I learned a little bit about why that game is less regarded as, as a good game. Uh, even though I've never played it and uh, probably never will. Halberd class turret, automated turret that tracks targets. Okay. Um, in, there's there's a lot. Uh, I'm sure we can talk about it over time after I get out of like epilogue stuff and maybe when I am more alone in this game. But um, 
Yeah, I, I get it. I, I understand now why, um, why maybe Other M is not, not so, uh, finely loved, we'll say. And in a lot of ways is very flawed. But, I do have to respect the director, Sakamoto, uh, because to this day, he's still like, no, no, I stand by Other M. Like, he, like, still to this day says that, uh, He's proud of his work, and he wouldn't change anything if it got ported. So I'm like, all right, well, s stay true to who you are, I guess. Or, uh, what the fuck did I just say? Like, stay true to your vision, I guess. You know, don't back down from it. He thinks, he likes what he made, uh, even though most people don't like the character direction or, like, even the gameplay itself was weird. Just imagine playing a 3D game like this but with a D-pad, and that's kind of all I really need to say for the controls in and of itself to be explained as to why I'm, like, adverse towards it. Station configured for Helm Officer. The ship's helmsman steers GFS Olympus from this console. I do want to say, though, like, visually, from what I saw of, like, his footage of Other M, um, it looks like, like, visually, it looks really good for the Wii. Um... And, uh, like, some of the animation, like, not just, vi like, graphic, but, like, animation in the game also looks pretty good, um, in a lot of ways. Um, like, there were some really cool, like, attack animation things that I saw Samus do. I'm like, okay, well, that's fine, but, um, you know, it made this, like, silent and, like, kind of reserved character turn into, like, be, like, overly emotional, which, you know... I, I'm like, you know, <laughs> be true to your emotions, but, you know, like on like a, on a personal level, sure, but I don't know if it necessarily makes sense for this character in particular to be that way. Considering they never really act that way throughout the rest of the series. Guess we're going this way. Yo, ship, shut the fuck up. I'm ally. I'll go wherever the fuck I want. Oh, hey, save room. Hell yeah, we want to save. Oh. I like how the default Varia suit has always been consistent throughout the Prime games, though. It's not a problem for it to have not been, but it's cool. The Varia suit can look a little different from game to game, but, uh... It's always been pretty consistent throughout the Prime games. Um... Okay, can't go that way. Maybe I do go down the, the middle route. Or maybe I should talk to the lad? You're good to go. Admiral Dean is waiting inside. Oh, okay. Gotta talk to this laddie. Absolute unit of a laddie! I also didn't realize that uh, Sakamoto had uh, influence in the WarioWare series and Rhythm Heaven. Apparently, according to Matt McMuscles, that was something that he mentioned. I think that's kind of cool. That I've been playing, like, those games lately, and, like, they're all connected by the same developer, or one of the same developers. Huh? Oh. Like everyone oh, I, I didn't even piece together that there was another Samus. I was just like, yeah, she got over there. Oh my god, the absolute unit. Mother Brain? This is your favorite Falcon character? That seems inefficient. I like this guy. <laughs> you see, in the green. Ago, we discovered that all Roar units were infected with an unknown virus. Oh shit. We were forced to bring the network down. Fortunately, our No, he's in the crowd, your favorite character? Oh, hang on. Unit 242 was the first day you to receive the vaccine. We were able to completely purge the virus. Metroid has done vaccines a lot, haven't they? And by a lot, I mean twice. Where did 
this virus come from? Which one? The middle one? The virus is of space pirate origin. Four months ago, the GFS Valhalla went I like the middle one. on a training mission in the Klar Nebula. The ships Klar. revealed that they were attacked by a space pirate raiding vessel. What is the logic in disrupting? This guy's pretty good too, though. <laughs> Pirates. How could they resist a prize like that? That never would have happened if I'd been there. <laughs> Shame you weren't. The pirates boarded the Valhalla and gained access to the ship's own. Oh, Assassin's Creed? 313. This is how they were able to hack into the network and plant the virus. Thanks to our security protocols, we were able to shut down the network before the damage from the virus became irreversible. Is that voice supposed to be this blue thing I'm looking at? The Aurora? But we're still vulnerable. Or is that just like a different thing in the ship? We'd be hard pressed to defend ourselves. We must rid the other AUs of that virus and bring the network back online. Okay. That's where you come in. We need you to deliver the vaccine to each of the AUs in this system. We'd also like you to investigate the pirates' activity in the area. You need to know what they're up to. Condition red. All personnel to combat ready stations. Oh. Repeat. Condition red. Sir, That's convenient for me. Has just warped out of some sort of wormhole. They're also heading for Sector Zero, the planet's home base. This really is just Star Wars. <laughs> Came out of a warm hill. Stop those pirates from disabling the defense system. Go. Okay. Okay. Why am I the only one in like battle armor though? See, no, this, this looks like an area where a boss will stand in the middle and then I shoot at them. Hello, sirs. Can I scan you? Oh, no, but I can scan your computers. All emergency stations alerted. Oh, cool. Yeah, we don't need power. Yeah, don't don't worry about me. I'll just I'll just rot in this room. Huh? Hello? Samus, get to your ship. We need you down on the planet. Until we get the fleet in formation. Oh fuck. You're not gonna you're not gonna tell me about that? You're just gonna be like go to the ship. Hang on, can I go this way? There's still this other door that was, like, locked. No, can't go that way. I guess I'll come back to this ship some other time? Yeah, that door is still locked down there, too. You know that this ship doesn't die because you have an, un an unfinished map. And they wouldn't put doors that lead nowhere on an unfinished map. Oh, hi there. Excuse me there, partner. Oh good, your turrets are good for something, finally. I guess I'll go this way. Press Z to lock on. Oh god. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I, I don't need the on-screen tutorials, thank you though. I guess... This game is probably more or less just like... Because, I mean, this is a Wii game put in a collection of Wii ports of GameCube games. Uh, so I imagine that they really just kind of put this thing... Like, this This probably just more or less the exact same game, I think, as what was on the Wii. The other two had, like, changes to support, like, the, the Wii pointer controls. Um... I think maybe some bug fixes as well. Um, but this one I imagine probably didn't get much or any changes. That room looks cool in there. I wanna go in there. We go in that room. I'm going down there. I can't go down there. Fuck. 
just for fun. Just so you can look at it. See that there's a room. No, fuck those guys. Oh shit, they're getting sucked into the vacuum of space! Uh, Federation Marine. Yeah, he's gonna die, that's fine. Emergency switch controls on the blast doors. Shoot to close the blast doors. Or I could just scan it. Where'd that guy go? Oh, did he get sucked up? Did I let him die? See out there? Damn. Terminal provides a mean to communication. Okay. Oh, that's a blast door. Hull breach has been contained. Evacuate area immediately. So I guess I just don't go this way, huh? Okay, bye! Can y'all not do that shit right now? Oh, here's this music again. I love the space pirate theme in Metroid Prime 1. I really loved getting, like... Trapped by like ghosts in like the Chozo temple, then having to hear this shit all the time. Pirate militia, expendable infantry units, lightly armed and armored. I don't have missiles, I don't think. No, I don't. Oh, you better come, come the fuck back here. Oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know what that is that you took. Um Oh there you are. Stop doing that. Get the fuck out of here, dude. What the fuck? Energy cell acquired. Return cell to its socket. Restore room power. I wonder if that's gonna be a mechanic that happens a lot. Yeah, well, already I'll say this is uh, gameplay. It is more Metroid Prime. Uh, with some added motion control stuff, I guess. But it's also like more story. What the hell? Where the fuck are these? Where are you? Kind of cute, actually. Crawl mine, mobile explosive drone. Detonates on contact? Oh, you're explosive? <laughs> fuck that guy. I gotta scan everything. Station houses an energy cell and distributes power to all room machinery and equipment. And you are a crawl tank. Small mobile weapon platform, lightly armored, well armed. Holy shit, they're everywhere. This is like the fucking Temple of Time in uh, Twilight Princess. When there's all those like spiders. <laughs> you know which part I'm talking about. Oh god. Unless you don't, in which case you don't. You can use the morph ball. Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot about morph ball. 100 kills! So this game like actually is keeping track of my kills. Or yeah, like Argoma phase two. I, I was more thinking of like, that. That is that is part of it, yeah, but. I was more thinking about just like one of the rooms in particular just has like the spiders all over the place. And you gotta use like the big statue to like crunch them. <laughs> 200 kills! Jesus, they're everywhere. Do I need to like... Come down here and like close a hatch or something or do I just leave? I guess I just abandon them? Fuck them bugs. <laughs> I'll take this. 
Okay, energy capacity increased. It's, it may or may not be a vital system to the ship. Oh well, I'll take it. Thankfully, the ship is designed with Samus in mind. Oh God. Oh, this is the room where Han Solo almost gets crushed. Security lock in place. Engage local security override to disable the lock. No. Security override enabled. Lock has been deactivated. Thank God. What is this like goopy water though? Mario Sunshine goop. This one doesn't hurt me though. Airlock cycling. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> there she goes. Samus almost fucking died. <laughs> I don't know what about it. It was like, no, it was, it was like the way the camera was like, pfft, like zoomed into it. It was just so weirdly comical, even though it's kind of supposed to be a little serious, I think. Oh, nice JPEG over there. <laughs> My ship. I think. Yo, yeah, what up? Hang on, I haven't scanned you yet. Oh, yeah, I have. No, never mind. Fuck you. Cargo bay doors are shut. What about you? Have I scanned you? Yeah, you're still space pirate. Whoa! You actually got, like, a sword. All right, all right, all right. Who else is shooting at me? You? Stop it. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, there's more. Who's left? You! You wish for die! Yeah, I can do that. Wait, what is this? Cat Catwalk debris is blocking the control terminal and explosive blast may destroy the obstructions. All right, I need to find missiles. Back into the old search action. Not a Metroidvania. No, search action. I know we've been, uh, we, you know, we got dread last year and um, we're getting Hollow Knight Silk Song and, you know, search action slash Metroidvania games are seemingly getting, uh, getting a lot of love lately. Especially since, like, Metroid seems to kind of be back. Considering we have Dread, and then Samus Returns wasn't that long ago either. Um, makes me wonder if the other half of Metroidvania is ever going to be around again. It's Konami, so I'm willing to bet no. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I've never really played more of the uh, search action-ish type Castlevania games. I've only really played Castlevania 1 on NES, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really care for that game very much. Though I would really like to play Symphony of the Night. Maybe Castlevania 4 as well. All GS, GFS Olympus weapon systems are online and operating at peak performance. The thing with playing Symphony of the Night is, though, um... The, okay, so it was re-released on, like, PlayStation 4, I think. But that version doesn't have the WHAT IS A MAN line. They, like, redid the voice acting and, like, entirely just changed the line in general. And I feel like that's kind of part of this Symphony of the Night experience is the original dub. So I, I, I kind of want to play that version. But there's not really a, like, clean and official way to play that. So. 
Maybe one day. I will, uh... I will scrumulate it. But, for now... I'm not really sure. After I play through all the Metroid, like, 2D games... Uh, on stream is probably when I'll consider Castlevania, but I mean, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll really just want to play Symphony of the Night, and just one day you'll see it on the now live. Control terminal operates all the nearby cargo bay doors. Okay. Thankfully, Samus's hands are like handed. Gotta hand it to you. Huh? That's a cool. I, I, wow. Actually, that was really cool. Oh. Damn. What the fuck? Hang on. Before you kill me, please, I need to scan you. Mechanoid. Arrow mine. Flying enter anti personnel unit. Drop shield to fire weaponry. Okay, so wait for it to drop shield, then shoot. Oh, this other pirate up there is f kind of fucking me up with the lock on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, get the fuck out of Get the fuck out of here. You, 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 you don't need to go anywhere, right, ship? You're, you're fine with just hanging out right there. Where'd that man's body go? Evaporated. Um. Okay, well... There's a thing here. What is this? GF Heggy... He Heggy? <laughs> Heavy cargo truck used to transport equipment and vehicles. Okay. This is called a box, Samus. Have you ever heard of these? Oh, there's more missiles. Hang on, I want to see. Did this have... This has more lore for me? Closed and locked from this side. Okay. I wanted to read about the ship. Stiletto class fighter. The newest of GF fighters that is used throughout the fleet. What the fuck is a box? <laughs> What have you got there, Snake? I got a box. It's really comfy on the inside. Game has been saved. Energy has been fully replenished. Did the saving rooms fully heal you in other Metroid Prime games? I don't remember. I know some games do, some games don't. No more JPEG. Uh oh. Oh, hey there. You okay? Remember me? The fuck? Oh, you're gonna not use your ship? He went like this, he went... Oh, we gotta use the ship landing area as a battleground, I see. Hang on, I need to scan you. Don't kill me. Berserker Lord! Fence. Phaseite plating on its head can only be destroyed by projectiles it fires. Wait, hang on. Let me get that logbook entry. Berserker Lords are highly resistant to damage. Their shoulders are the only unprotected area vulnerable to standard weapon fire. Their main defense lies in their head-mounted phaseite planting. Plating, rather. Which can only be destroyed by the projectile it fires. Berserker Lords are desperate, are a desperate measure designed to exploit Phazon as much as possible. The few Berserker Knights that survive the highest level of corruption are promoted to Lord status. 
Lords are distinguished by their ornate phasite planting and the phason reserves they carry on their backs. Thanks, Liquid. Don't be fucking spitting on my ass. Uh. I mean, shoot, shoot the missus. Shoot the missus. Uh. Yo. I am out of falcon missiles. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, and that's back already. Okay. Okay. I can't tell. Do I have one reserve tank or no? I can't tell if that icon is filled in or if it's signifying I could have a tank, but I don't. I think if if I if I don't have the tank, the square is just not there. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm full up on health. Holy shit! Um, not a whole lot seems to be happening here. Uh, I'm, I'm really not doing a whole lot of damage to it at all. This this is standard Metroid gameplay for the Prime series for me. I sit here and wonder why I'm not doing damage for like 20 minutes and then I realize it was something extremely obvious that I read out loud in the, uh, in the like, log, but then didn't acknowledge fully. Oh, there we go. Now the, now the plating is destroyed. Okay. Oh, that would explain it. Uh, hey, lock on. Are charge blasts just as powerful as missiles in this game? Or a little weaker? Maybe. I will say aiming with the sensor bar in its current position is a lot more comfortable. But when the game wants me to like do like st stuff like this, it feels more comfortable to actually like raise my arm. So I don't know. I remember with the previous two games, I had a lot of issues with aiming uh, because, like, I would have to hold the arm, my arm, like this, which is why I put it down there. But yo, fuck that guy. Where's my ship? Ship's about to hit the fan. Run him over. Blast him! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Mm. That was good. Rip like the soldier that probably he had to die for that, but made me happy, so that's okay. Also, the ship looks uh, really different in this game. They're no longer like basing it solely on the uh, Super Metroid ship. It's kind of its own thing. The cockpit thing is really cool, though. Um, I kind of had known about. Oh, s enter ship. Oh, uh, well, I mean, yeah. I kind of had known about the cockpit a little bit. Because uh, I hear that this game has like multiple. I, I don't know if it's multiple planets or if it's just you go between the planet and this ship. I don't really know. Um, but you go around a lot. Uh apparently and use the ship and I've seen the I've seen the cockpit uh, a little bit but I kind of forgot about it is more what I'm trying to say I forgot my code shit 
Yo, you guys have like password protect? You guys got like two factor authentication? Uh, I don't think that's. No. I don't think that's what I want. I think I want this. Select destination. Norion. It's a bit, is it, wait, I can't tell if this is big or not. <laughs> it seems very open. If it's like just one big room, I, I'm not sure. Okay, bye. Just gonna leave this ship. It might die. Oh well. Commando boy did tell me to come down here, though. Oh, this is cool. Nice loading screen. It's no Sonic Unleashed on PS3, though. Really hoping for a half hour of load times. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's not that bad. In that game. Stand to, Samus. Our situation doesn't look good. The pirate attack has knocked out our generators and disabled the planetary defense system. Okay! This cannon was our only weapon capable of taking out orbiting ships. We need you and the other hunters to get the generators back online and restore power to the cannon so we can repulse this assault. I'm uploading the generator coordinates to you now. Good hunting. You know what I have to say to that, right? Metroid song. Alright. So this is... It's actually kind of cool. Um... Ow. <laughs> Never mind, fuck this shit. I... I kind of like this. It's... It's definitely different from, uh... Previous to Metroid Prime, so I could Im I could uh, imagine some people may might just see this and be like, no, fuck this, this isn't Metroid. But kind of on its own, it's it's cool and different. What is this? I mean, what is that? What have you got there? Is that grapple beam? It's the power of fist. Oh shit, what happened to my hand? Now I can use snatch balls. Grapple lasso. Oh. Lock on to the grapple points and cast nunchuck forward to fire. So you don't really like lose your power ups at the beginning of this game? Question mark. You just don't have them. <laughs> Elevator systems online. Direct interaction required to in initiate. Okay. Hi, hi, everyone, take the shit. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, right there. I hope. I'm, I'm hoping that, uh. That might be the, like, most of the extent of the motion controls is just, like, opening some doors. Oh, hi. Maybe a couple of extra side stuff. I'm... I'm really hoping that this game... I, I don't know if this is the case or not. I'm, I'm just talking out loud here. I'm hoping the game doesn't, like, go over the top with it. Like, I, I can... I can be alright with the motion controls in this game. If it's, like... If this is, like, as intense as it gets. Um, like, I, I really like it for the aiming in the first two games. Uh, K. 
cast nunchuck forward. Oh, you have to actually do motion for that. Okay. Well, I forgot. I forgot that these nunchucks have uh, motion controls in them. You use it in Skyward Sword to like shield bash too. Bio signs negative. Target has suffered numerous energy burns. Energy source. Phase on. Damn. She really do have like a reflection though. Oh, that's weird. Her eye like moves with the reticle too. Oh, oh, she has another eye over here too. I guess it makes sense that she has two eyes. This one's just the most, the more visible one. Thank God Samus has two eyes. What would we do if she, she just only had one eye? I could wear an eye patch? Fuck that. Object scan complete. Vent chamber hatch is locked. Use manual override to open hatch. Yo, is this a locker? Security access panel engaged. Hinges appear fragile and may break if pulled hard enough. Alright. Hello? Hmm. Security system in effect. Eliminate enemy presence to restore panel operations. Okay. There's enemies nearby. Ah! These are some cool enemy ideas. They all like group up together. Take turns firing at you. Um. Weapon upgrade required. Okay. Can't go in there. So hoping I could just like blow it up. Hey, what up? Scan indicates target has suffered severe blast trauma. Source, energy grenade. Oh God. Subject has flatlined. Cause of death, heart failure due to extreme cranial trauma. Insane in the brain. Target is deceased. Appears to have suffered fatal wounds from friendly fire. Huh? How can I? How does the scanner know that like a, his, his friend shot him though? The hell? Does the shit like infect you and make you like shoot your friends? Uh. Apparently there's more enemies. More enemies! Where was like. Wasn't there like a floor here I could see through? Oh, it was over here. Uh, there's a door down there. What is that? Power conduit B is inactive. Start generator to charge conduit. Power conduit C is inactive. Let me guess. Power conduit D is also inactive. Stop doing that. You can't, you can't have two of them fire at me at once. The fuck? Generator C. Blast door is made of pure Jovian steel. Oh, you Jovian around here. Oh, okay. Controls are offline and pervious to your weaponry. Fuck. Oh, we just Joven. You know what I mean, just Joven. Debris is covering a passage. These pieces can be pulled out of the way with enough force. Okay. Oh, what do you mean I can't just jump over this shit? What the fuck? What the fuck? Control tower doors are locked shut until all generators can be brought back online. Oh, that looks hot. <laughs> you know what else looks hot in Metroid, right? <laughs> Ridley.
he's sexy. Ridley sings. So you know the song, like, you're happy and you know it, clap your hands? Well, Ridley sings the song, if you're sexy and you know it, clap your hands. Um. So, oh, okay, I see. Now I can do this. My hand is different now. You get that, like, power up. Uh, to, to change your hand so quickly that I imagine for people who've played this game seeing like Samus's regular hand probably looks really weird Because it's really only that ship part and then you just immediately find the upgrade when you get here. All right, I can do this Yeah, but spring ball is more fun <laughs> this, this is a fun thing. Uh, that's not fun, though. Do I have boost ball? Oh, I see. It's on like a timer. Yo, this guy could fuck, fuck off. Ooh. Oh, give me that. Give me that. What is that? Missile expansion? Okay. I'll take that. I like using missiles. Um, wait, was all that really just for a missile, though? Huh. I thought this. I thought this was the way to go. Uh. Uh. Is there a way down there? Uh, start generator to charge output. Where's the generator? Is that in the hot room? Shacks, hot stuffs, hot ones. This is the generator. Turbine serves as a power source for local security and air circulation systems. Air circulation pistons are deact are activated and on automatic pump interval at five seconds. What's this doing here? Oh, okay. Well, that was um. This game really likes giving you the uh, e tanks pretty early on. I guess that maybe maybe that's part of why this game is considered so easy. Cause like. We're an hour into this game, and I've already gotten two E-Tank upgrades. And, like, they were both, like, on the way. I mean, one of them was... The, the first one I got was kind of out of the way, but... Wait, no, no, that was... That, that was part of the, the way that the game wanted me to go as well. No. So, yeah, they were both on the way. Those corpses are gone. Is this a missile door? Blast, red blast shield is invulnerable to most weapon systems. Explosive damage may break it. Thankfully, it only takes one missile. Oh, hey, Matt. Yeah, this is off to a really solid start for me, actually. I'm, I'm really into this. Downloaded the map. Okay, how big are we? All right, so yeah, just like the ship did give us like a vague projection of like the layout of this area. So we're heading there, but yeah, there was also another thing here. But yeah, um, I, I like this game so far. I didn't know if I was going to or not, uh, because some people are like, eh, on this game, but I don't know why, like, I, I legit just don't know why. Maybe it's just the motion controls or the idea of, like, other people being around. Uh, hang on, one. Let me look at that logbook. What did I just get? Um, Hunter Gore. Subject is a veteran of the Liberation War of Wu-Tan Seven. Wu-Tan? Wu-Tan? 
Only 6% of subjects' birth body remains. The rest is state-of-the-art cyberware. Does that mean he can be hacked? <laughs> can I make him, like, do, like, the hokey pokey? Despite his career in heavy cybernetic modification, Subject is known for his high level of empathy and compassion. Gore is rather gentle and approaches situations logically, but is not the most skilled of fighters. Intel suggests he even has a sense of humor. <sighs> I don't have one of those! Subject has often companioned the weak, poor, and downtrodden, working for a free or giving bounty money earned to the victims of its targets. Subject can merge his cybernetic body into larger mechanisms, including gunships and fighter craft. This merging will alter Gore's personality, and he will become incredibly aggressive and violent. Data indicates a high proficiency with computer infiltration and manipulation. High level of mechanical empathy within artificial intelligence. So we're going to have to, like, fight him, right? Olympic-class battleship ship. The Olympic-class battleship is the first... Uh, actually, wait, did I read all this? Uh, I don't remember. They are flagships of the fleets they serve in, usually commanded by an officer of flag rank. Battleships of this class have smaller crews than most ships of a similar size due to the presence of the Aurora unit. Oh, yeah, I did read this. Okay. Um, this is my inventory. Uh, visors, suits. Okay. Um, here's my options. Rumble? How is the... The Wii Remote has Rumble? Does it? I don't remember that. I don't know if I've ever felt the Wii Remote Rumble. M maybe I haven't. I'm just brain dead right now. Uh, swap, jump, and fire? No, that's fine. Um, swap, visor, and hyper. Huh? No, I think everything's fine. Uh, by default. Sound. No, I can't go any higher than this. For everything being, like, at max volume, this game sure is quiet. <laughs> Samus really just like, like gets all up to it. <laughs> Galactic Federation data fire. Are you 902? Hunter Rundus. Data moved to logbook for review. Subject is a native of Frigus, a moon planet of base three, known primarily for ice mining. Why do you mine ice? The Phygrisian ability to manipulate and generate ice has become in hand has come in handy in the subject's career as a bounty hunter. Intel suggests he enjoys hunting to the point where he keeps trophies from all of the targets he successfully captured or killed in his career. Subject is proud, cocky, and arrogant. Cock! And without and considers himself without rival in his field. Morundus. That's Rundus? That's Marundus. Okay. Rundus be a little pogging. Alright. Hunter Gain Gandriana. Okay. But why but why does he like my what what is the point of mining ice? I guess because maybe other planets have less water. And so you can take ice and then melt it in the water. But, like, if you have to mine the stuff, wouldn't it just be easier to melt the ice? Ah, I don't know. Subject's homeworld, unknown, possesses metaphoric ability similar to the biomorphs of Jovia 13. Or 12. Roman numerals are not my thing. Can assume the form and abilities of most living things, including bioforms considerably larger than the subject. Scans are unable to determine the subject's age, but Psycheval suggests a high degree of youthfulness. Intel suggests that bounty hunting is akin to this akin to a sport for her. 
one she enjoys considerably. Subject perceives the veteran hunter Samus Aaron as her chief rival, a rival she intends to surpass as soon as possible. So piecing things together, I've never played this game before, let me remind you. Um, piecing things together, the one soldier back there shot his friend and we're getting like bio for these hunters. Um, I'm predicting that we're gonna have to fight these lads and they're gonna get infected. They're gonna come down with the sickness. Do not confirm nor deny. That is, that is my prediction. We will find out in due time. I played the game. Hello? Well, I was gonna scan you, <laughs> but then you died! Jump mine, anti-personal unit. Rises in air and explodes once engaged. <laughs> or you can just do that. They pose no threat. Uh, anything else to scan? Oh, what was this? System analysis complete. Power conduit is currently inactive. Start generator to gener to energize conduct. Conduit. I don't know why. Just can't read when I play Metroid games. Oh wait, I just can't read. Uh oh, boss time. Yo, do not disrupt me while I'm vibing. I'm so used to the, um... Okay, bye. <laughs> bye! Dumbass. I'm so used to the super missiles where you hold the charge and then, uh... And then you shoot the missile. I had the same problem at the beginning of Prime 2 as well. Where, um, I would keep char I would hold my charge. And then I'd want to use a missile. But then, um... You know... I, I can't do that at the same time. When you don't have super missile. Oh, what? This man's got a shield? Hang on. That's scan worthy right there. Shield Pirate Militia! Battle Shield deflects attacks, but can be pulled off with the grapple beam. Some members of the Pirate Militia have been granted use of regular army trooper equipment. This unit has been given the portable battle shield. It is port its portability is its weakness, however. Remove it from the pirate's grip to eliminate its primary defense system. The shield also is susceptible to phazon based attacks. Oh, am I getting the phase on beam again? Or did I was that something I had? I think I had something like that. Or I had a phase on suit in Metro Prime 1. Then there's the light suit in Prime 2, which kinda made me like immune to phase on if I'm recalling correctly. What's the distance I need to get the grip, the grapple? Um, cause it's- it's not giving me- oh. Alright, okay. you don't need the icon in order to grapple, actually. I thought you would've. Oh, are these the guys that, like, when, when they die, they, like, Wilhelm scream? Hang on. Scan time. Look at him. Arrow Trooper! Jetpack provides aerial, mo aerial mobility. Homing attacks recommended. <sighs> they're dangerous foes, but their lack of armor leaves them vulnerable to explosive blasts. A weakness also lies in the jetpack. Igniting it will allow the pack to be separated from the pilot. They use twin remotes to attack pods and engage targets. The attack pods are capable of using a particle cannon or a helix missile pod. 
They can trap their phase on power to unit to warp from point to point. Homeboy can warp? You got teleportation powers? No! No, stop dodging! It's not really warping as much as it is just dodging. Like air dodging. Ha <laughs> ha! Yep! They still do it. <laughs> they still do the explosion thing. You would have thought that they would have made some new technology in Space Pirate Co. Industries to, uh... Oh, I'm out of missiles. Damn. To, like, not have the same weakness as before. Oh, my God. All right. Who else is left? Hello? Oh, the ship itself. You're an ugly motherfucker, you know that? Space Pirate ATC, well-armed transport. Forward vent is vulnerable. <laughs> no! I sure are a lot of these guys. Oh, there they go. Can't believe this is where Samus goes to fucking die. Oh. Dark Samus! Oh, that's not Dark Samus. That's Frozone. Just fuck, uh, Gray Fox? Hello? I just received word that the Federation is allowing all bounty hunters to use ship command devices. You should now be able to remotely command your ship and land it here. Don't forget to perform suit maintenance and data backup if you need. Okay. Generator A is just through those doors. While you head that way, I'll activate the generator on the west side. Between the two of us, this should be a breeze. Okay, we we can't we gotta be friendin'. Is that is that Madrudus? I think so. Push and hold to do visor select. What the hell? Oh, okay, so there's like certain points where you can move your ship. Oh. So that's what that is. Well, that's kind of good, actually. Considering the ship is usually like the not just energy, but missile recharge as well. Having your ship in multiple locations and also from the idea where you have to, like, I guess, go to different planets, if that is true. Having your ship be able to not just be in one spot seems pretty convenient. Uh. Okay. Game has been saved, energy and ammo fully replenished. Do I need to enter the ship to have that happen or... Can I just save? And that's when it does it. I imagined I needed to enter the ship, but maybe just saving would have done that. I could just, you know, figure that out right now. But, you know, it takes like four seconds. I think I've got an extra four seconds on hand? No. I spent like 45 extra minutes on Pokemon today. No. We don't got time for that. Our time is precious! Ah! What are you doing? You bulging? You bulging it on the ceiling? Oh, you bulging it on the ceiling! Oh! What the hell? No. Ah, 
right, see ya. I think I just got like conked on the head by something. Power production at zero. Generator operation suspended. Restore all generator systems. Activation panel is offline. Return a generator to down position. Then touch this panel to activate. Okay. Yeah, I know how to do that. Yep. I definitely got this shit figured out. Oh god, no, it's- No, not- not the fucking bug boss again from Metroid Prime 1! This debris is blocking the manual override. A strong blast could destroy the obstructions. It's not what I want to know. I don't want to know about that either. System error. Panel is stuck and immobile. Engage manual override to clear. Let me scan this- let me scan this man's! Oh. Security system active. Panel in secure position. Engage manual override to clear. Let me scan these fuckers. Jolly Roger. Oh, my favorite level from Mario 64. Drone fast and fragile arrow drone. Fires bullets of phase on energy. The Jolly Roger drone is designed for quick aerial maneuvers, but this comes at the cost of survivability. The fragile armor of the unit is vulnerable to weapon fire of any type. The Jolly Roger is based on Federation tech, but has been considerably upgraded. Powered by Phazon, the mechanoid can be a serious threat in battle, especially in groups. I like when the music goes. <laughs> Yo, fuck you. These guys are actually pretty weak. All things considered. Just hold it here. Don't, don't fly into the, the, the shoot, right? Stop it! Stop it, I'm getting dizzy! Stop making me dizzy! Saw it then. Alrighty. Um, that looks like die down there. Is this a motion plus based game or is this regular Wii remote? I forget what was like actually possible with the standard Wii remote. I know like obviously like pointing was possible, but I don't remember if it had like the ability to detect distance or not. I think it did. I think motion plus was more for like when you're like not aiming at the screen or at the sensor bar at all. Like in the instance of Skyward Sword. I, I guess the real question is I don't know when uh, this game came out. Metroid Prime 3. <laughs> Probably look that up. Could go to google.google.com slash google slash fuck how? With a big question mark. And that would probably give me the answer, but... Eh. Objective completed. Are you reading me? Something big is happening up here. Okay. What in the name of... Rumble! The hell? Who's that? What? In the name of fuck... Is that a Telethia? Samus is heading right at you. That's why the pirates disabled the defense system. They intend to smash this thing into Norion. Get that cannon back online, or everyone down there is as good as dead. Do I have a timer? No? Alright, well then I'll take my time. <laughs> you can't force me. 
This looks like there's like a morph ball path here. Um. And it, there, there probably is, but I don't know how to like use it. Nope, not that. Object scan complete. This is a fed tech plasma generator. Unit is operating at peak. This is peak fiction. Peak efficiency. Um. Uh huh. Yep. All right. Well. I think that's everything we're gonna do in here. I can't really tell. And there's other stuff up there. And your override engaged. Security panel has res returned to its neutral position. I can't like just jump up there. Yeah. Because the fence is down there. That's what allows me to get over there. Um. Okay. Well, um, this does look like there's like a huge like morph ball thing going on here, but I don't think I can do anything about it right now. So, I guess I'll just fuck off. Excuse me, Bulk. Excuse me, Bulk. Hey there, Bulk. Righty-o, then. Oh, hi! That guy's gonna die. Is he? No. No. No, he's not. He's gonna fuck him up. What do you do? Like use phase on? What do what, what you do there? Hey, 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 hey! Tell me about that. I'm with the PED Delta Squad. My phase on enhanced weaponry should be able to hold off any more trouble. I'll guard this area while you head on to the next generator. But the other guy went to the other generator. Yeah, there's definitely like some morph ball shit happening above me. Um, uh, not really sure how to access it, if I even can. Hmm, maybe I should go back here and heal at the ship, though. No, I'm thinking about it. Let's see if just saving does that to me. Yeah, it still brings me up into the ship. Okay. Boof. Energy and ammo fully replenished. Okay, so you just have to save. You don't have to actually go into the ship. Oh, in the ship. Oh, do you know my? Oh, it's very good. Oh, yeah, my. Hello there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> just evaporated that guy. Ah. Oh, more bulk. Well, they're gone. When do I get the 300 kill? I, I gotta be close to that by now, right? I could have stayed in that room and just like fucked those bugs for like years. I fucked them up. I mean. I mean, and then I would have been like, great. Come on, go up. Let me throw. All right. Open door. One generators has been opened. Where's the other dude, though? Where's the man based? Oh, the hell? Oh, is that him? This is the one that like fuses with mechs, right? Holy shit. Xeno gears. Hi. We're friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a robot guy. This one has finished. 
One ahead. I will stay here to protect the area. Thank you. Thank you. Proceed quick. Generator C. Okay. Reactivate the defense system before we're all vaporized. Go on. Get out of here. He certainly sounds like he's straining his vocal cords more. <laughs> when he goes into this form, what is this? Our scans of the meteor have detected massive quantities of phase off. It could be some sort of hell. Huh? What's going on here? Blast shield is invulnerable to weapon fire. Destroy its power links to enable removal. These? Thought I shot them. Guess I didn't shoot it good enough. Hello there. Hang on. Don't worry about this. I'm just scanning you. Federation PED Marine advanced armor suit is equipped with phase on enhancement device. This is called rubble. Sorry, debris. Uh, what are we? This is a different kind of door. White blast shield is vulnerable to most weapon system. Alloy is weak to extreme cold. So ice beam is back. Are there gonna be more Metroids? But where's more Metroid Primes? Amazon Prime. No, I already know the answer to that. Metroid Prime itself is like the, the final boss of Prime 1, right? There really shouldn't be any more of that. Well, I mean, Dark Samus is Metroid Prime, I guess. Um, something's going on here. I don't quite know what it is, but it's happening right here. What is all this? Um, it's just another way down, I guess. The meteor will enter the planet's atmosphere soon. There is no time to leave. Who the fuck is talking to me? <laughs> Who is that? Is that the ship? Or is that the, um, was that the node? The Aurora Borealis node. Ah! Stop it! Ridley! Oh wait, this is Ridley. I was joking when I said that at first, and then I realized, no wait, this is Ridley. Hi. Hi there, big guy. Oh, your hands hurt. A little bit, a little bit of hurt on them hands. Get the fuck out of here. Um, we're just going around, up and down and all around. Yeah, give me the fuck out of there. The boy ain't dealing with fight, Ridley. Is that like phase on Ridley? I didn't get to scan him. Security panel locked. Unable to access tunnel. Find an alternate route. How about you find... Samus, I was able to get Generator B back online. If Some balls. There's a reason why I stopped myself early. Should have just continued stopping. Would have been better. Of an idea. There's my three hundred kills. So were these uh were, were the kill counts in the original game? If anyone uh, is still here watching, I'm just curious. Uh, five. 
Five, five blast. <laughs> what have we got in here? Um, what the hell? He's got that friendly fire on him. Or no, this is the morphing chick, right? Space pirate Gray is definitely not my style. I, uh, I almost <laughs> I fell for it for a second. Get this generator back online. Thanks, Sammy. Blast good. No. What if I don't want to? Is that okay? Is it going to be okay if I don't want to blast good? Yes, put it in there. Yes, Samus, yes! <laughs> I really want to go through the morph ball maze though. It looks fun. Oh, oh, I get to do it this time, I think. Ah, uh, okay, I get to do it in here. But not in the other one. You weren't ready for that, eh? Samus, our efforts to slow the meteor have failed. You must hurry. No. I don't want to. Oh, that's cool. That's not. All right, first one. Oh yeah, this is cool. I, I like this game's like aesthetic that it's going for. Just like, I don't know. It is, it is very different from other Metroid Prime, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Um, I need to go that way. I kind of like the premise of this a little bit more than Prime 2. At least initially. I, I suppose we'll see as we go on. I do think so far my favorite in the series has been the first game still. But... I mean, Prime 2 had some really good stuff too, as well. Uh... Wait. There's a path up there. So a path up here. Well, this is to get around. I'm not ready for that because I didn't activate them all. Is that thing even able to shoot me? Aren't I in like a glass tube? Yeah. Oh, this doesn't actually take me all the way up. Unless I did activate all three of them and then I went brain dead. I only did two of them. No, it looks like I did all three. Alright. Don't know what the fuck I'm on about then. Um, oh. I missed my boost ball. Oh, that's where Darth Maul fell down. So there was a generator down there. Oh! Why does this motherfucker never die? Oh, it's this music again. Oh, it's just like actual meta Ridley. Um, maybe I should scan. Too far away to scan. Meta Ridley, durable, durable armor skin protects body, fires plasma attacks from mouth. Target body is covered with incredibly durable armor skin, making it difficult to damage. All parts of the body are protected except for the mouth, where Meta Ridley fires its plasma-powered weaponry. Observing target may reveal additional target points. Target will be will use powerful plasma-based ranged attacks along with potent melee strikes. Unfortunately though, 
no potent smash four attacks or brawl attacks. You know, actually, it didn't do melee attacks either. It only did uh, ultimate, from what I from what I heard. So this this just goes very far down, huh? Huh? Can't see. Uh, hi there. <laughs> you look very flattering from this angle, Ridley. Uh oh. Don't fucking bitch slap me. I can't. Oh, it's not letting me sh lock onto it. Probably should be firing missiles into his mouth, not. Um. Okay. Well, I, I blundered that. <sighs> I can, like, control my falling here a little bit. Oh, God. This is weird. Oh, man. What are you doing? It's been a while since I saved last... I hope I can get this. Ah! Uh, hi there! Oh, that didn't open your mouth. That did, though. Uh, wow, I just missed that missile. Come on, come on. Ah! Fuck you. I hate you! Stop it! Fuck! It's getting a little hot down here, isn't it? We sure have been falling, like, right into this planet's fucking core! Uh, what's he throwing at me? Oh, fuck you. Okay, none of those missiles collided. I am out of missiles. I think I have this, though. Oh, fucking vanquish this man's. Prime 1, they really built Ridley up to be this huge, like, finale thing. Like, towards the end of the game. I'll be curious if this is actually the end of Ridley already for this game, but I mean, also we've we've dealt with him plenty of times. Thanks, Frozone. Yeah, but isn't the me isn't the meteor like fucking only like three thousand meters away? I think I might be running out of time. Unless the meters was actually it wasn't the the distance the meteor is away, but rather the distance until the bottom, maybe. <laughs> you suck, Samus. Oh. This really is just Final Fantasy VII, huh?
Okay. That's the idea. Okay, I'm imagining it's through that door. Yeah. Head to the control tower. You got it. Excuse me, boss. Hi there. Oh, is there actually a timer or is it just like the distance I'm traveling? Uh oh. Um. Alright, get me the fuck out of here. I don't know what's in that room. Oh, excuse me, boss. Excuse me, I'm just gonna come right through here. <laughs> You're not worth my time. Fuck you. Uh, hand, hand door. Gotta hand it to you. Open up! Oh, everyone's been waiting for me on the elevator. <laughs> Okay. If you don't make it to the top in time, we can kiss this planet goodbye. Hey, relax. We're the good guys. Justice will prevail and all that stuff. He's got a really Let's weird vocal filter. Let's do this. He is an alien, though. Ah! Uh. Oh! Hey! Hey, girlfriend, how's it going? We miss you, boo! Can't believe my friends are fucking... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say dead. Ah, oh, I can't believe we all fucking died. So, world's over, right? Oh, but you can get back up and shoot the meteor anyways. Look at these graphics. Yep. This is a Wii game. <laughs> it's just a big rock of Phazon affecting this planet. Oh, you missed. Or no? No, you were aiming at that. Didn't double tap. That's right. Still, still here. Still ready to fight and finger a keyboard. All right, now we can sleep. Nap time achieved. One month later. Oh my god, this game has a time skip. <laughs> what? She's coming too. Can you hear me, Samus? The baby! Oh wait, no. Uh. Vital signs uh. are stable. Ah, uh, get your face away from me! Welcome back, Samus. You've been asleep for quite some time. A month to be exact. We feared we'd lost you. <laughs> it's part of the job. Thanks to your great work, Norion is now safe. At the end of the battle, we found you and the other hunters all unconscious. Our medical examinations then yielded surprising results. Your bodies are now somehow self-generating Phazon. God damn it, it's Metroid Fusions again! What's even stranger is that there are no negative effects to your health. This led us to investigate if we could make effective use of this Phazon. During the invasion on Norian, you must have noticed some powerful troopers in new suits. They were wearing what we call Phazon Enhancement Devices, or PEDs. Didn't... 
Did I not have a phase on beam in one of the previous games? I thought I did. Like, I know, I remember the suit. I thought I had a beam. I guess not. We integrated this happens the now, I guess. Enhancement device oh. into your armor while repairing your damaged body suit. Cool new armor. Troopers wearing this device have phase on pumped to their weapons from an MP2. You had a beam. Okay. This gives them an extra boost in firepower. I thought so. It was like the dark beam, the light beam, and then I guess just a phase on beam was your third beam. But in your case, think about it. With this phase on coursing through your body, you can fuel the PED using your own internal energy. Pretty effective, don't you think? Why don't you try the PED now? Okay. Seal the room. Uh, <laughs> Initiate PED program. <laughs> Recharging energy reserves. That's cool. Press and hold plus to initiate hyper mode. Hyper mode ends when the PED tank is depleted. You can also exit hyper mode by pressing and holding plus. All right. Recharging energy Press and hold plus to initiate hyper mode. Oh. <laughs> Hyper mode ends when the phase on inside the PED tank has been consumed. Closely monitor the reserve level in the tank and try again. You must have noticed during this test that hyper mode possesses devastating power. Sure. In the past month, we've learned the hard way just how powerful our enemies are. To deal with them, you'll need the firepower of the PED suit. Make good use of it. Now that you are familiar with the workings of the PED device, the Aurora Unit 242 would like to... Borealis! There are many pressing matters to discuss. The AU chamber is located just off the command bridge. We'd better get going. Oh, and one more thing. After 25 seconds, the safety feature automatically ends hyper mode. You'll have to keep paying attention. Uh -huh. This suit is cool. How have I never seen this suit before? This looks like Gray Fox. <laughs> A little bit. Like the color scheme is similar. I made the Gray Fox joke about the dude's voice earlier and now Samus just looks like Gray Fox. Coincidence? I think not. Phazon Federation data file, PX013. Okay, read those. Galactic Federation data file PD001 phase on move to your log. Phase on is a substance of extra galact extra galact extra thick go origin. It is highly radioactive ore with extreme mutagenic properties. It has certain biological qualities, including the ability to reproduce itself. Exposure to Phazon often affects the brains of sentient being, causing erratic, destructive behavior. It is also a potential source, or potent rather, source of energy, surpassing even fuel gel in pure output potential. It must be handled carefully, as can cause Phazon sickness if used incorrectly. Okay. Two. Holy shit. Wait, did they just take a picture? <laughs> did they just take a picture of a Wii remote and just invert the colors for this? <laughs> I just like put it through an invert filter. What was the other one? There was a different log that I had. Um, This one. The Phazon Enhancement Device is designed to harness the energy of Phazon Minerals. Originally discovered on Ether for a new Federation weapon system, which was a planet of the last game, actually. It is being tested by a girlfriend marine battalion stationed in the Norian system. 
Marines can initiate an energy siphon from a supply of phase on carry in a backpack to their armor suits. This allows them to temporarily enhance the exoskeleton and weapon systems of the armor suits. To date, no Marines have displayed signs of phase on sickness. Huh? Where's that person at? Let me shoot them. You gotta get going. Where are you at? Where are you at? Tori! Come get me! Oh, you right there? <laughs> you can't stop me! Oh. Oh, look at that, like, beam. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. GF is the Galactic Federation. No, it's its girlfriend. It's girlfriend. Promise you. I know. I know. But, you know, it's girlfriend. You know. She's coming down with this sickness! It's golden fries? Do they, do they serve those? At a uh, golden corral. You good? Nah, it means nothing to him. He's, he's fine. A pleasure to meet you, Samus. Yeah, pleasure to meet you too, Mark. I've heard all about you over the years. Ah, the old legendary Mark. Mark my words, he says to his enemies every time he kills them. It stands for get fucked. I like that one. going on in here you guys got rooms in here oh you guys got rooms in here also this is that ship from before okay can I go into the middle room now I actually really like this suit design the colors are, are really cool I'm surprised Samus does not have a skin of this suit in Smash Brothers does she She's got ones that are like similar to the um, the light and the dark suit from the last game, but this suit doesn't seem to be in there at all. Glad to hear you're feeling better. I don't think, anyways. The AU chamber. Please proceed through these doors and up the lift. The Aurora unit is expecting you. Hmm. The fuck is that? What am I looking at? What is this a hologram of? I guess the elevator itself. Oh, it's like a... It's one of these kind of lifts. Okay. One of these things is totally gonna get breached. I mean, it kind of already has, right? It's like... What they were saying about them getting sick. You sick? Disgusting slop that gives you gas? Communication platforms allows users to interact with the Aurora unit. Use terminal to talk to AU-242. Uh, what terminal? Huh? What terminal, you say? Is this... Um... Press A? Oh. I'm so used to everything just being like scan visor from the previous two games. Like just walking up to something and like using a button is like it's it's like I it's not allowed, it's taboo. Yo, wait a minute, this is uh This is a guy that was in the hidden machina village. Peppa Pig's dad? I wonder if one of those is a joke about Elysium. These have impacted any medical cells deep into each planet, 
spreading the Boreal phase on carried inside their bodies. The Leviathans must be destroyed. Two weeks ago, we dispatched Runtus to Brio, Gore to Alicia, while Gandreda was sent to locate and mark to this control. ship. Like you, they were outfitted with PED devices in order to confront this new threat. We lost contact with all of them seven days ago and fear the worst. In their absence, we need you to travel to these planets and finish their missions. The closest planet is Brio. This will be your first objective. Dorito. Please be on the lookout for any clues that might help us understand what happened to Runners and the other hunters. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck at a time like this. Luck only gets you so far on the battlefield, Colonel. Oh, there's like some dithering happening on the bottom of my screen. This ship is cool. I like this. I like the, the, the setting for this game a lot, actually. Good luck. Now entering Corneria City. Samus, the fleet is now moving to the rendezvous location. You will no longer be able to dock with us from this point forward. Aww, but I like docking. Rest assured, we will keep communication lines open supply you with information when necessary. Good luck, Umbrio. Hope you got that E-Tank. <laughs> so that's Brio. Got the Brio buns over there. Elysia looks like... It might just be like camera like perspective Either that, or if I'm gonna go there, my bones are gonna get crushed, so, um... Let's go to the brioche buns. I wonder if Prime 4 will elaborate further on this idea at all. And have, like, maybe like five planets. I don't know if there's more than just these three. But let's just say, like, five planets. Might be cool. I guess it depends on how much you can explore of these planets. Now this one's very similar to, uh, like... Both, like, the impact crater and also, like, certain parts of Aether. Prime 4 is dead, Snake. No. Oh. It's just game development takes a long time. I mentioned this at the start of this segment, but, like... Yeah, like, game development takes a long time, and the fact that they said we're starting completely from scratch really means that this game shouldn't have been announced to begin with. Um, this should have been a secret that just was never announced, but I guess in the same breath, then people would have been like, WHERE'S METROID PRIME, NINTENDO?! And then they just wouldn't be able to say anything. I don't give a fuck about no seed. You will not be able to reach it with that barrier active. Okay. We need more data to determine how the shield can be disabled. You are near the wreckage of a downed Federation vessel. If you can use the satellite uplink on the ship, you may be able to access information concerning the seed. Prepare to receive the ship's coordinates now. Okay. Wow. It's right there. It's in the brioche buns. Cool. Um, I'm only going to be playing this for like uh, another half hour or so today. Uh, just so we're all aware. But um, yeah, like it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't with the announcement of uh, Metroid Prime uh, 4. In the moment, it was a cool announcement because then, like, later that same day, through, like, the treehouse during E3, we got the announcement of Samus Returns. So, like, 
Nintendo was really trying to show like that they cared about Metroid still when uh, some people were like, Nintendo doesn't care about Metroid. What the fuck? They're mega stupid is what they're not. They are. They're not mega awesome. They're mega stupid, okay? They don't care about Metroid. And, um... You know, maybe they don't. I don't, I don't fucking know. But, um... Nintendo themselves uh, is like a very secretive company, um, especially compared to a lot of uh, other companies. I mean, that's kind of a... You, you see that a lot in a lot of different like Japanese um, game development companies. Very secretive um, and don't like to reveal a lot. But it was very... It's like the most transparent we've ever seen Nintendo be when they're like, yeah, we're uh, throwing this away and starting completely over. So I can't be upset about it. I wish it would come out sooner, but you can't rush perfection. Maybe. Statue does not appear to be attached to the ground and could be pulled with enough force. Okay. Cool. That's just a way back up. All right. Um, interestingly enough, uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, 2 has had... Oh, look at this morph ball. Oh, that morph ball is really cool looking, actually. Br I find it hilarious that Breath of the Wild 2 has now had a longer development time than Breath of the Wild 1. This music is also really good. Like, I, I'm gonna patiently wait for it because I want the game to be good, but uh, in the same breath I'm also con I'm, I'm still concerned about Breath of the Wild 2 solely on the basis of them reusing the world from Breath of the Wild 1 But I mean if it's taken this long for the game to come out I'm I'm hoping that my uh, concern is misplaced but I mean, with Zelda in general right now, it's kind of hard to be excited about the game because we we still barely know anything about it. We don't even know its name, which is apparently, if, if we did learn about it, would give us too much information. There's a doorway that way. Let's explore this area a little bit. Oh, it's starting to rain. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm assuming I'm gonna need like two things to get through there. Twilight Princess 2. You know, weirdly enough, I think another part that helped build up the hype cycle for Breath of the Wild 2, though, was that there was a lot of Zelda in between Breath of the Wild and Skyward Sword. There was a link between worlds. There was uh, Triforce Heroes, Wind Waker, uh, well actually Wind Waker was, yeah, yeah, that was after, because Wii U, right. So Wind Waker, Twilight Princess HD, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, 3D, both of those. Um, and since Breath of the Wild for Zelda, we've gotten a Link, uh, Link's Awakening, which was a pretty good remake. I enjoyed it, I streamed it, I liked the game. Uh, it's uh, maybe not worth $60, but it's it's a good game. I mean, Link's Awakening in and of itself is just a good game. Um, so there's that. Um, we got the Zelda 30th Anniversary Game & Watch. <laughs> Whatever the hell that was for an anniversary. Um, which, weirdly enough, had the original version of a Link's Awakening. Uh, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> then there was Skyward Sword HD, which I think is the best way to play Skyward Sword. Um, I enjoyed playing that game last year. What are you? My Morph Ball bombs seem like they're a little bit different now, too. The fuck? Ugh! <gasps> There you go. <laughs> so yeah, the, but I think... 
I guess also there was Age of Calamity, uh, which came out. So, no, there's there's still been a decent amount of Zelda. It just... It doesn't feel like everything that's come out since Breath of the Wild has been quite as impactful as all of the releases between Skyward and Breath of the Wild. We've only really gotten one fully full remake, which... Oh, two, I... I guess the Skyward Sword and I do think I do think of a Link's Awakening as kind of a different game than uh, Skyward Sword. Um, what the hell is that? The fuck? Oh, it's death is what it is. Oh, he scans some shit. Solar Energy Collector provides a means to access the security locks. Enter the shafts to unlock the locks. OK. Well, we do be shafting. Where's the big door that I'm looking for? Is that this? Yeah. Um. I never did go the other way. What is this? Is this a grapple thing? Metal orb is obstructing path, but movable by electro grapple forces. Now yeah, I knew it. So where do I put it? Um, like over there, or do I maybe uh, this way? But I mean, we've since uh, since Prime 4's announcement, we've we've gotten Dread, we've gotten Samus Returns. So, Metroid games take a long time to make. And to be fair to the Zelda thing, they've remade everything already. So like, the the best they can do is like port Wind Waker and Twilight Princess to the Switch, which I'm surprised hasn't happened to be honest. Red Blast Shield is invulnerable. Right. Um, I guess it just looks different. I was like, there's like a shield on this, though. Okay. Dread was a roller coaster for sure. Yeah, Dread was amazing. Uh, Dread is... is um, I, I played... Um, earlier that year before Dread was announced, I, on my own time, decided I wanted to play Zero Mission. And uh, after Dread came out, that really like kickstarted me to, to really want to play the rest of the Metroid series. I had played Prime One before on my stream before then, but like the announcement of of Dread really made me go like, yes. Um, so. It was it was through that that kind of made me want to play the rest of the series. But even then, I, I've I've since now played Prime Two. I'm working on this game now, and I played Super Metroid, and obviously still Prime One and uh, Metroid One through Zero Mission. And um, you know, even still, even after playing Super, I still gotta say I think Dread is my favorite in the series. I think I'll like Fusions a lot as well. Um. I might like Samus Returns, the 3DS version. Uh, I don't think I would like the Game Boy version, though. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I want to scan. <laughs> Panel mountings appear to be weak from age, maybe rippled off with enough force. So I do want to do this. Or no. Okay, I, th I thought it was grapple, but I the icons didn't show up at first. Fusions was your fave? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got the game physically on, like, Game Boy Advance, so... I should play it, uh, I just... Waiting for the right moment. Probably around the end of the year, I'll play another 2D Metroid. That would have been... Four Metroid games this year, but I don't care, because I've 
This has honestly been like one of my favorite things to, to be streaming to play through. Um, I, I've, I've really fallen to enjoy and love these games. Oh, you nasty! Oh, put those arms away! Oh. Cool door. What is this fucking Jurassic World? Jurassic. Jurassic Measures World. Oh my god, he's got a whip! But can he nay nay? Also, it's been a while since I've got another missile upgrade. I wonder if that was through that other door that I just kind of stopped going down. <gasps> Stop it! That heart! It's about my heart! Ouch! Huh? Are you real? Fuck you. Ouch! Ouch! There's a white door up there. Home. Um, those dudes always creeped me out. You know what fucking creeped me out? The fucking Chozo ghosts in Temple 1. In, in Chozo Temple in Metroid Prime 1. Fuck those guys. Two of them. I guess there were two of them. Hang on, where's the button at? Two of them? We're a little late to it, though. Wait, there's two of these guys. All right, two of I'll, them. I'll give it to you there. There's three of them, but now there's two of them. All right, there you go. You got your two of them. Uh, that looks like a grapple beam thing. Unable to use this object with current suit upgrades. All right, maybe later. For now, I will stare at this chasm and say, Wow, that's a key. That's a chasm. There does seem to be like a morph ball maze and there's a missile upgrade. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah! Fuck is this? Whoops! I accidentally f figured out what to do. What is that? A picture of a burning fire? A burning fire. He calls it Bryo Bryonian Bryonian data translated. Entry Age of Science. Data moved to logbook for review. The ships of Bryo sped to the stars in all directions. Bearing the banner of peace, soon we found stellar brethren in the Chozo, the Luminoth, and the Yila. Starborn knowledge came to Bryo, and we gladly set our wisdom to the new friends, or to our new friends in return. The hearts of Bryo were filled with pride, and they honored the lords of science for all the wonders we provided. As the time of new Bryo came to be, the old ways faded. The cries of joy from those who honored science covered the angry shouts of those who mourned the old ways. The primal traditional traditions. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yo, Amazon Prime believes in science? That's sick. That's that the professor science to you? Quinn, are you ready for tomorrow? 
Are you ready to have a fucking scrum diddly umptious time? Alright, that's more grapple beam stuff for later. Um, I think? Well, actually, where, where the fuck do I go? Because I don't think I can make that jump. It looks too high up. Yeah. I'm a stream tonight getting set up on there. On the on the server? Uh, we have a base already all set up. A uh, big one, mind you. Um, so you might not need to do that. You can if you'd like, but... Um, we've got big stuff for you to start with, if you'd like, for your uh, first moments on the server to be with us. Yeah, uh, it, it wasn't really too present at the end of last of the last time Agari and I streamed, but I've been a little busy over the last couple of days. Um, I mean, I started it last time Agari and I streamed. What, do, what the fuck do I do? Because uh, I can't, like, get out of here, I don't think. Um, but yeah, we, we have a base for you. What is that? Morphology Cobra. Works with snatchers to feed. Vulnerable to continuous blasts. Uh. S. Um... Yeah, I don't know about that one, boss. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be. What do you have to say? Stone structures is retracted into the wall and no longer active. Hallway access granted. This heavy stone door contains a low-level energy shield that can be disrupted by any weapon. You are more than welcome to play on the server, uh, the Minecraft server, Quinn, as uh, frequently as you wish, of course. Um, I just think uh, Agari and I are only streaming it like once a week. Um, so, you can do with that as you wish. There's like blue super juice down there. Marginer class war golem is without power, unable to activate with the current suit upgrades. Mm. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm not trying to upgrade it, I'm just trying to get it out of the way. The spike bush is an indigenous strain of plant life that produces venom within its leaves. I like the venom. They got the venom. They got the venom. Um, I'm trying to go back here, I guess. I seem to be missing something that's probably extremely obvious here. Um, because yeah, those I can't grapple. Can't seemingly do very much at all there. Uh, and then this is like nothing. Uh. Unless I'm mistaken, can I clear this? I don't. No, I definitely cannot. BRB bud gonna eat. Okay, you gonna eat. Okay, okay. Uh oh. The music really came in here and said, oh, oh, oh. Raynal. Lack of exoskeleton makes it agile but weak to most weapons. There's clearly like something I'm missing, I think, in this room. Um, but like, I don't know. I don't really see what it is that I'm missing. I can't go back through this room. So I'm like trapped between these two rooms. And I can't figure it out. Um, can't. I don't think. Yeah, I can't get in there. Woo! Uh, 
I mean, I see that over there. That that looks cool. But it's out of my scanning range. That's a missile upgrade. Wow. Um, wow, I'm I'm really struggling to figure out where to go here. Uh. Well. Uh. I don't see anything on the map that says I can go there from here. So like my instinct is like backtrack, but I can't leave. Ah. Uh, fuck happened there? Got like caught in the ground. Uh. I wonder. I didn't. I didn't do that in this room. I don't know if that was gonna make a difference. So. No. Not really. Um, I kind of don't want to look up a guide, but I'm I'm really fucking stumped right now. I don't know if anyone's here in chat right now to like tell me where to go, but if you are, you can tell me where to go at this rate. Um, object identified as cash plant. Used by Bryonians to store field supplies and vital gear. Is that this right? I feel like I might need to look up a guide on where to go. Cash plant has fully developed bark that only heavy beams and explosives can damage. This says I can't interact with the goop. So, no, there's no goop in there. Um, I really don't want to have to look this up, but I really don't fucking see where I'm supposed to go right now. Uh, I, I think I wasn't really supposed to come here. Uh, I, I may have, like, softlocked myself. Because I really just don't see what the game wants from me. It must have wanted me to go down that hallway from before that I just passed up on, but the fact that the game, like, is softlocking me here doesn't make any sense. Like that, that doesn't seem right. <sighs> okay, well, I have to resort to a guide here. Metroid Prime 3. This ordinarily would have been the time where chat would have just told me where to go, but um, I don't think anyone's here right now, so that's fine. Um, guide. Through Bryo. Okay. Um. Satellite uplink part one. Cliffside. Gateway hall. Huh? Okay, so we went through there. Um. Enter the tunnel, follow it to the other side, as well as a pair of platforms. One down, one more to go. Um, okay, so. Yeah, there's a whole path here that I didn't go through, and this IGN guide is telling me to go through it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Um, as you drop into the center area, you'll be blocked in. Okay, that's where I am. 
While it may appear there's nothing to do in this room, a well-hidden rock hides a secret. Oh. So it is in the other room. But I looked around with the visor, and I it wasn't being like... It was, did I blind that that hard? Um. Yeah. Well, uh, hidden rock, huh? Yeah. There, there ain't nothing. Uh, there's nothing here suggesting a hidden rock. Yo, fuck off. Saw for a second. Uh huh. What? The guide said drop down, but I don't fucking see anything to drop down to. Um. <laughs> Scans detect an unusually high amount of Talaric alloy in the section of this cliffside. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know. I don't even know if I noticed that or not. I mean, I guess not, but... Hang on, let me, uh, bomb jump. Bomb jumping, I assume, is still functional in this, right? Um... What is the fucking tempo of this? Uh, fuck. Well, I see this thing up here. It makes it look like... Stop. Oh my god. These guys are like infinite. There's the thing here that makes it look... I thought it was gonna like suck me up though. Oh wait, hang on. This guy's like... Oh. Oh, well, that's weird. Huh. I thought they were more like enemies. Yeah, I don't know about that rock. I don't know why I missed that rock so hard. I thought I was looking for it, but I guess not well enough. I think that's a that's a prime sign that I should be going to bed soon. Uh, I'm just kind of really waiting for a save point and kind of looking for one. So what is this? Ornamental panel is covering part of the statue. It could probably be ripped off with enough force. Probably. Alright, so what is that? What's that? What have you got there? Huh? This... Statue contains several liters of unsustainable fuel gel. Igniting the gel may destroy the statue. Ah. Uh, statue cock block. What is this? This is more grip power. You got grip power! Okay, so for some reason, grapple beam and the swing are separate things in this. Functions more or less the same as previous games, though. That's good. Well, now, now the route over here makes more sense. Huh. I'm, uh, I, that was me missing the rock. I, I don't know why I uh, just did, did not see it there for some reason. I'm sorry. I'm sure, that was annoying as hell to watch. Oh, okay. That was cool. Was that annoying as hell to watch as well? <laughs> 
Yo, fuck this guy. He doesn't know where to go in his first time playing the game. Fuck him. He just, dude. What a fucking prick. I'm really just kind of looking for a save room at this point, though. It'd be. It's, it has been quite a while since I've found one. Um, in fact, I don't think I've found one at all since I've gotten here. There may have been one that I just kind of skipped out on, though. And there was also this route, which I never even went through. And this has... Uh, oh, I need another E-Tank. Again, these games don't... The, the Prime games don't feel very hard after you get a bunch of uh, energy tanks, but I think another reason maybe why... Um, Prime 2 and Prime 1 are considered harder games is if you're playing the GameCube version because the controls of the of the aiming are not as good as this. Can I destroy this with my super blast? Bioform is encased in solid ice and is blocking entry to the tunnel. High temp shots may sh shatter it. Alright, that wasn't hot enough. Neither was that. So that's later. Fire beam is necessary. I guess, yeah, there, there really weren't... Uh, the beams in, in Prime 2, really, for the majority of the game, was just the light beam and the dark beam, which was just like... You, you attack certain enemies with the dark beam, you attack certain enemies with the light beam. It's kind of all it really was. Open a couple of doors differently here and there. There weren't a whole lot of puzzles surrounded around the beam that felt like, hmm, another missile over there. I guess that's what that was all for. Uh, that's the back, back towards the ship. Even though maybe I should go there. But there was this way, which we hadn't gone through. I'm sure it would have been roadblocked had I did, had I chosen to go through this way. Yeah, I would have been roadblocked right here. So never mind. I always doubt myself. I'm like, oh, I pass up on a doorway, and then later I'm like, oh, I could have done something there. There's a missile up there. How do I get that? Hmm. Wee! It's fun to swing in circles. Alright. Is it, I'm assuming all this is how I'm going to get there. Spring ball is nice. The hell is this? What the hell is this? Huh? What are you? Dead? Ah, that is what you are, is. It says save room music. Vacuum hatch closed. Analysis indicates hatch can only be opened from one side. Structural analysis complete. Protective panel is held in place by security clamp locks. These are security clamp locks. Explosives may damage them. Takes two of them. Two of what is that? Can I grapple them? Let me guess. Connect all rods to restore power. Yep. I figured. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Alright, 
Samus, you're so strong. Fuck yeah. You're so fucking strong, Samus. <gasps> it's our safe room. Oh my god, is this a fucking safe platform? What is this? Satellite interference unit is powered. Control systems are disrupted. Realign controls to engage interface. Is this the room I was looking for? Oh, it is. Huh. Okay. Really gotta get her arm work out, huh? Huh? You have downloaded a map for this area. Wow. Oh, hey. That's all a brio, huh? These buns be hot. Right, let's look at the map here. Are there any indications of a save room? Um. There's one way the fuck over there. So what's in front of me? I guess I have to go back to my ship to save, really, for this whole area. Okay. 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 I don't think I can go this way right now. Oh, all right. Yep. Okay. So those are the places I can land. And we need to go there. Okay. Um, what is this? Can I freeze this fuel gel? Susceptible to extreme temperatures and will freeze if exposed to the cold. Okay. So, ice beam, come back, and then I can go that way. Alright. So, I will uh, go to the ship and save from there. Door? Hello? There we go. Doors seem to take a little bit of time to get through. Oh, hey! It was my friend! He was a. Uh, he was over. He's, he's web surfing! He's looking for. He's looking for his favorite website. Twitter.com slash Twitter. He go to Google.com, he types the word how, and then he gets a bunch of answers. Wow. What a fucking guy. I like that guy. Surfer Jim. Jim sent ya. Collapse structure is now blocking platform. Unable to destroy with weaponry. <gasps> Really hoping I could destroy that with weaponry. Goodbye. Oh, that's why there's all this ice here. Because Homeboy. Homeboy made this bridge, I guess. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Maybe, maybe we can just eliminate the fuck out of you. No, I said die. The food was lit. What did you light it with? An oven? What, what, what have you eaten? Also, I need to eat. I've been streaming for about six hours today. It's been a little while since I've done a six hour stream. Ever since I started streaming to like more of a defined schedule. Don't typically do stuff like this anymore, but it's really just a matter of having the free time to do so. You lit it with your belly. Oh, so you ate it raw and then your stomach acid cooked it. Okay. 
Honey garlic chicken with mac and cheese. Hot damn, was that like a, was that like your recipe? Or like your wives? You have a wife, right? Uh-oh. Think you do. I picked that much up from you. Hey. Getting married. Oh, okay. On the 27th of this month? Dude, that's two days before Xenoblade 2 comes out. Y'all can have your honeymoon while playing the best JRPG of the century. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's, uh... That's three minutes shy of a six hour stream for me. So I think that is uh, any uh, good place to end uh, as a stream on. So next time we will um, find more of the planet to explore. We'll hit the pingus button. Uh, yeah, now it's time for three minutes of filler. Nah, now it's time for three minutes of me uh, telling you Thank you for watching. Um, it was probably won't be three minutes, but you never know. I tend to ramble sometimes at end slate. But um, yeah, more of this. Hang on, let me look at the Discord because I never remember when I schedule things. You you would think that uh, because I write the schedules that I would just know these things. <laughs> no, it's arbitrary when I go to make the schedule and then I just commit to it. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got this scheduled next, not until Sunday. Mmm! Yeah, I, I guess. Uh, the schedule says 3 to 8, but I've mentioned this before, that's not actually gonna be the time frame. We're gonna be streaming earlier that day. So, um, if you wanna see more Metroid of this game in particular, uh, come by on Sunday around, like, noon. I think is probably when I'll start playing this game. So, there you go. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow we're going to do Minecraft with Agari and uh, Quinn. And then Friday, Pikmin, Sonic Unleashed. Sunday, Pokemon XD and Metroid. Then Monday will be off. Tuesday will be more Sonic Unleashed. Wednesday will be a full Metroid corruption stream. That'll be a four hour one too. Uh, Thursday, more Minecraft, and then Pikmin and Pokemon on that following Friday. So, that is this week and next in, uh, in review. So, I will see you guys next time for more. Thanks for watching.